Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Zelkanon, and um, once again, I, I'm, I'm kind of sick. So, uh, today is Saturday. I'm going to be recording this video and the next two all today. Um, so that way, in case if I do lose my voice in the next two days, I don't have to worry about trying to record something, something on the same day and uploading it. So, I'm going to try to make this video kind of quick. Uh, kind of take it easy on my voice, so it's just going to be smite for today in the next two days, and then I'll get back into, you know, a different uh, variety of games and more uploads. But besides that, let's move on. Uh, so somebody requested to re refresh the Nemesis build, the uh, old Slice and Dice video, which is still pretty good. Um, it's still kind of up to date. It should be fine. Uh, of course, the icons for the uh, items have changed a little bit, so uh, just kind of bear with that. Uh, besides the fact, um, this is a damage build as you can see, we're not going to do a bruiser, but nobody, I've never seen anybody build a tank or bruiser nemesis, so I'm just assuming, um, if, if you don't request a specific build, I'm just going to assume uh, what majority people play that god as. Okay, so we have Ninja Tabby, uh, since we got nerfed quite a few times on nemesis since launch, um, she has a lot, a lot longer cooldowns. Than before so we're gonna go with max CDR if you don't know what that means that is cooldown reduction um, items so we gotta go with ninja tabby uh, for, for our first item then we're gonna go with shin size uh, I noticed getting shin size early in matches um, it's really devastating shin size is the key item if for any damage build make sure to buy this uh, you know the plus 25% attack speed is wonderful on the, the power but the passive is so strong, 5% of targets, maximum HP. That's 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 certainly a lot and helps you over on DPS. Next, uh, Jones Wrath, because I was mentioning the cooldown reduction. We're going to get this as a third item, since we're going to get Shin Size as a second to do more damage early on. So Jones, we're going to get a little bit more penetration that we lost without getting the Warrior Boots. Uh, the power always helps, the mana complements the cooldown reduction. Next, Hates and Fintalis. Um, Nemesis has a, uh, I believe it's a, a three, three or four attack chain. Um, so in order to get the, the full benefit of that attack chain, you want a fairly bit of attack speed. So when you do a, a let's say a three atta attack chain on a certain god, you're gonna get your full damage output. Because the way these attack chains go, it's like uh, your first hit is your full, you know, basic damage. Your next hit's like half. And then the hit after that is like 1.5, so it's your basic damage plus um, another half of it. That's how that works. If you want to know what I'm talking about, go to your god selection, look up a god, and then uh, I believe it's like overview or something like that with those dabs down there. And you can check out their attack chains. Also, with Ace of Vitalis, we get increased movement speed, so on top of our one dashing in, we are also faster. Next, uh, the passive, once you start beating on somebody, they can't really run away because with the passive here, it removes the speed debuff when you start attacking. So if you notice, when you start attacking, we're slower than normal running. So with Haste Mentalis, you run like this while beating somebody up. Uh, it's really devastating, it's really hard to get away from. Next, Rage and Deathbringer combo, for obvious reasons for the crit and power, and the Deathbringer passive is just disgusting. Uh, as far as actives, you may be wondering, that's uh, really up to you and who you're fighting against. If you're fighting against Ares or Hades or something like that with high CC or overall high CC team, greater beads, uh, purification beads, uh, I guess they're not called beads anymore except the tier 1, but you get the point. Uh, because we have no CC immunity, our 3 does not make us CC immune, you definitely want to have some type of escape and or, and or breakout. Sprint really complements Haste Metallus and your one if you want. If you want to stack a lot of movement speed, grab that. If you want people not to get away from you so much, a Feebling Curse, and they also can't attack uh, back that fast at you. If you're jungling for whatever reason, uh, make sure to get Hand of the Gods and branch that up to Fist of Gods. So, those are some little tips there. Um, we'll go ahead and do um, this one jungle mob here, and then I'm just going to call it quits there. So if you notice on the bottom left, you can see our stats. Our stats is pretty nice, one, uh, 170 attack power and 2.1 attack speed. 
you may you may be looking it's like that's a little low power, but you gotta also realize it's it's damage per second. So having high attack speed kind of um, evens out the playing field against power. And if you want to see the cooldown reduction totals, 8.4, 7.8, 10.8, 54 seconds. It's all already nice for this more assassin field nemesis. So that's gonna be it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace.